Prince Harry has reportedly raised tensions in the royal family after he announced he was attending the Invictus Games. Resplendent in an orange hat, t-shirt and sunglasses, practicing his Dutch, a short clip was released of the Duke of Sussex in which he confirmed he'd be at this year's Games. But the announcement came just one day after he said he would not be attending Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster on March 29. His lawyers said Prince Harry did not feel safe traveling to the UK after he was told he would no longer be afforded the same degree of personal protection when visiting from the US. The Duke of Sussex had previously cited the tragic death of his mother in the treatment of his wife by the British press, as reasons why. He offered to pay for the protection himself and is now locked in a legal battle with the Home Office. However, after his Invictus announcement, a source told, it was also hoped that the Queen would meet his daughter Lilibet for the first time and that would make it even more of a special occasion. Now none of that will go ahead, yet he is willing to travel to Holland for the Invictus Games, which is only 300 miles away. It will certainly raise eyebrows and most probably hurt feelings. The royal family has been going through a rough patch recently after Prince Andrew settled a civil sex abuse case by paying Virginia Jufri £12 million despite insisting he'd never met her. A spokesperson added that Prince Harry hoped to visit the Queen as soon as possible. Since moving to America, Prince Harry has only been back to the UK twice, once for his grandfather's funeral and one a second occasion for the unveiling of Princess Diana's memorial. In the video by the Invictus Games Foundation, Prince Harry appears on a video call learning Dutch from four people. He says, One more time guys, please, you know I need to get this right, and I really want to get it right as well, so how do I say good afternoon? you've done a great job in Dutch. He is praised for his attempt at saying the sentence in Dutch, and then asks, and what else, anything else I need to know. One of the people helping him says, can you say stroopvogel? And he replies, stroopvogel. Love those. Harry asks the people on the call, do you think I'm ready? And he is told, we think you're ready. Speaking in Dutch, Harry says, thank you. See you soon in The Hague. Prince Harry is told to not forget his hat, at which point he dons an orange hat, orange sunglasses and unzips his jacket to reveal an orange t-shirt and stands up to show off orange trousers. Pointing at the camera, Harry says, let's go. We're ready. The tweet says, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is getting ready for the Netherlands with some Dutch lessons. As we all prepare for the games, our thoughts are with Team Ukraine, as well as their friends and family. Meanwhile, the comedic promotional video showed an unprecedented spike in people googling for tickets to the Invictus Games, according to an analysis of Google search data. This analysis reveals that online searches for Invictus Games tickets exploded 837% worldwide on the day the footage was released. Findings by furniture retailer Bed Kingdom revealed that online searches for interest in tickets for the game skyrocketed to over eight times the average volume in a few hours. A spokesperson for Bed Kingdom commented on the findings claiming this boom in searches is a testament to the prince's popularity despite stepping back from royal duties. The spokesperson said, despite Prince Harry stepping down from his life as a working royal, he is still passionately committed to his work with the Invictus Games, which he founded back in 2014 to celebrate servicemen and women through an annual sporting tournament. These findings highlight the enormous influence Prince Harry has on the world with a single short video prompting a monumental increase in searches for a project that is incredibly close to Harry's heart. It is a testament to the prince's popularity that he has encouraged others to attend and support the Invictus Games, despite rare appearances since leaving the British royal family.